Hi everyone, Jane R V N. So another calculation. We've talked about our sheet, the importance of having the final answer box, and how to make this paper work for you. It's a blank piece of paper when you walk in, but have it so that you have it as your crib sheet. So if you were to go in and do the urinary catheter task, I've seen people do this task in a number of situations. And it's quite easy to forget things off the calculation. It's only a few steps. And because of that, it's very easy to do in your head. So don't be afraid to make it really basic and simple when you write it down. No one's going to go, oh my goodness, you've written that down really obviously. You're going to get rewarded for that because you get the marks. If you start to do it all in your head and then just write down a range which is incorrect, one, it's going to be difficult to give feedback if you want it because we can't see where you've gone wrong, but two, you get nothing because the answer's wrong. So again, go to the top of your page, left or right, whichever you prefer, and we know that we're working at a range for this, and we know it is one to two mils per kilo, and it's it's fine to write per day if you know that you'll implement the 24. That's the biggie that I see people miss out. And obviously exam nerves take over and you don't realise that what you've written down is actually like 20 to 40 mils per day when you know that that's not really an adequate urine output. So one to two, so that is there, one to two mils per kilo per 24. So I get given a 15 kilo patient lovely so do not be afraid to go as basic as one times 15 kilos times 24 equals two times 15 kilos times 24 equals that i know that you probably think oh my goodness like you could do that in your head don't assume that your exam brain will let you and make it easy on yourself. Now you just need to plug that in a calculator and you've got the answer. So 15 times 24 is 360. Two times 15 times 24 gives 720. So yes, this answer is double that. And then your final answer is going to be 360 times 720 and remember your units mils per day or you could write mils per 24 hours you're both saying exactly the same thing so mils in a day or mils in 24 hours so remember that there's two stages to it but there's three bits of information in it this you know because it's one to two mils that's going to remain the same because it's the weight and that's going to remain the same because it's always over 24 hours that your initial calculation will ever be. This is the task where I would like you to then have to decide, make a couple of changes in the task, get you to decide if that's an appropriate amount of urine that has been decanted from the urinary bag. Um, I know that most people would hate me for that, but I think that's more realistic. But don't worry. I'm not in charge of anything to do with the exams, so that's not going to happen. But that's exactly what you would be doing. You would work that out for a patient, and then each time you enter the urine, you would go, mm, is that enough for that range? And bear in mind, the range is, is quite large. We're quite generous with it. So again, that's what you do. We've got the calculation at the top. We've got our patient information, and all we then do is plug in the information that we've got to get the answer. Thanks for watching.